I did not know that. I did not know that. I didn't know that. I did not know that. I didn't know. And I didn't know. And I didn't know. I didn't know. I did not know. I didn't know. And now, I did not know. Welcome to the first episode of I Did Not Know That. With the fascination with superheroes these days, we're going to talk about two strange and mostly forgotten heroes of the 1960s that aired on primetime television. Mr. Terrific and Captain Nice. The 1950s brought Superman to television, and while he was popular, it was Batman who really jump-started the superhero craze. Batman was hip, and the program was soon in the top ten. There were Batman cards, games, and toys everywhere. Batman was making a lot of money. CBS wanted in on the superhero action, so they created a character called Mr. Terrific. The pilot episode starred Alan Young, who had just finished shooting Mr. Ed. The clip you see here of the pilot episode never aired because CBS decided to dump Alan Young. They replaced him with an actor named Stephen Strimple. Strimple played Stanley Beamish, a weakling who worked at a gas station. The government created a power pill that only worked on Stanley and it gave him the ability to fly and the strength of 45 elephants, but for only one hour. Having a one hour time limit to having superpowers created problems on every episode. And of course it would seem to wear off at the most inopportune times. Both Mr. Terrific and Captain Nice aired on the same evening in January 1967. Carter Nash worked in the police department as a chemist, and he discovered a liquid which would turn him into Captain Nice. Like Mr. Terrific, Nash was a bumbler, and his powers lasted for only a limited amount of time. If Captain Nice looks familiar, you probably know him better as Mr. Feeney in Boy Meets World. Captain Nice had comics, a comic book, and Topps trading cards. But neither program ever came close to capturing the lightning in a bottle that Batman did. And it was easy to see why. While the character of Batman was already well known before it aired and had a comic book following, Terrific and Nice were characters created by the networks. Also, while Batman was campy, it was played on two levels. The other two superheroes were basically played for laughs and slapstick. Captain Nice and Mr. Terrific were canceled after their first year. That prevented the shows from appearing again on TV as reruns, which made it difficult for them to ever gain much of a following. You can find clips of them on YouTube, and at times both series are sold on DVDs on Amazon and eBay. And now you do know that. Thanks for watching. I knew that.